there are three, six areas where these robots will be very supportive. These robots will perform temperature screening in our treatment centers. These robots will detect people walking in treatment center not wearing masks so that uh, with a voice the command post can be informed and quickly respond. These robots will continue education for patients and staff to enhance their knowledge, especially to comply with the government measures in the fight against COVID-19. Robots will facilitate patients with self-diagnosis at entrance or at the exit points. Finally, robots will be able to deliver foods and other essential products for, to patients who are here in the treatment centers. Basically, this robot will help us to reduce the risk of contamination of our health staff, which is a key achievement because one of the challenges we are facing worldwide is a rate of infection of health professionals while treating people suffering of COVID. So any opportunity of reducing contact of health, prof health professionals with patients who are sick, it's still a way of reducing the risk of being infected. They might go there essentially for treating, but for other duties, these machines, these robots will help enough to reduce the risk of contamination. I have been so resourceful in countries like South Korea, Switzerland, Netherlands, Belgium and China, where coronavirus started, and I look forward to doing the same in Rwanda. Together we shall prevail. Thank you. For the UN, we pledge our continued support, not just as UNDP, but the entire UN family. Together, we will defeat COVID-19 and help to build back a stronger and better Rwanda. Miracles in China. We've seen in many countries where robots are being used uh, to support uh, the healthcare interventions. And for us, it was a question of why not Rwanda? What is so unique about all these other countries to use robots and other advanced technologies, why can't Rwanda do that? And so that's why we are grateful for partners like yourself, partners like the Ministry of Health and RBC, for embracing really these um, you know, ideas, what is being done elsewhere, and agreeing to, uh, to, to test and use uh, these robots. So um, again, like I said, it was really just to extend our appreciation and also to say that we'll continue to work with the Ministry of Health, all the medical practitioners, to see how else we can continue to use different technological solutions that help us to respond um, to COVID-19 uh, as well as beyond. So uh, I'll just stop there and uh, thank um, uh, you know, everyone for being here this afternoon and also allow for Gabo and his colleagues to get to work as soon as possible. Thank you very much. <laughs>